Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Nazirul Izzat um, I'm the group leader for the group 15 So today, my team and I will present to you about our product which is a portable meat cutter Hi, uh, I'm going to present the introduction first So basically, we were given a task to produce a product design with the objective of design and plan a complete product that will provide an innovative solution for community application so after going to several tasks and brainstorming, we finally decide to choose portable meat cutter as our product design. Portable meat cutter is used to cut or skin the meat. Okay, uh, this product design can be operated by several groups of consumer, especially butcher, household, and elderly people. So several steps uh, and method involved in producing the product design. Uh, this is the flowchart of the project. It shows the whole steps or summary of the. Steps that we use to plan and design the product. The next is problem statement. So currently, most of people use clever to cut or skin the meat even in big celebration. This traditional cutting method is quite complicated actually and slow down the cutting time because the clever is easy to blend and it takes several minutes to make it sharp again. And also the existing uh, meat cutter is heavy and big. It's difficult to bring anywhere. The next is objective. There are three objectives we use as a guideline to design our product. The first one is to be used easily and effectively. And second, easy to carry anywhere, which is portable. The third one is safe cutting time. Okay, for chapter three, the methodology. Uh, there is a couple of methods that we have used to conduct our study. Which is first is conduct a survey to know the customer requirement for for our product and to know what is what are the problems that the consumer face when are, they are using an existing um, product that is similar to our product. Next, we develop a house of quality to develop the customer requirement and to fulfill all of the requirements that uh, we get from the survey, and also we get to know. Um, what are the products out there that is available that is similar to us? Next, we produce a morphological chart to analyze the function of the product to explore alternative means and combination of achieving required functionality. Next, we also produce a pew chart to screen and score the sketches that we have sketched, and then we use a CAD software which is SolidWorks to generate a 3D model to get to know the to visualize the 3D model of our product, and lastly, we use the usability testing to test the usability and functionality of our product. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Naim Mosli. So, let's move on to chapter 4. As you can see here, this is a result from our survey that top 5 quality that customer needed is performance, future, durability, service and preserve quality. So what you can see here, this is table of house of quality. 10 functional requirement that is blade material, body material color, motor output torque, body design, weight distribution, battery capacity, electronic system, ergonomy and battery indicator. So the most important requirement that needed is blade material and also Moto output talk. Alright, for the discussion, there are a couple of ways that we will develop further um, our product. The first step is the concept generation. So, the main purpose of concept generation is to generate multiple choices of concept and combine it to produce a product that will satisfy the customer. The idea generation is fulfilled by creating a single system from mechanism drawn in the morphological chart. The next is the concept combination table. So from the before morphological chart, we combine and all of the ideas that we have done in the morphological chart, and then uh, create a concept. Let's create five concepts, and then we sketch it using uh, a pencil and paper. We sketch five design so that, and then we will screen it uh, by using the pew chart. We will score it, um, and then. After that, we take the top 3 design and then we rank it. So when we rank it, we will rank it from the score of 1 to 5. So the highest score will be chosen and the highest score is design 4 as you can see. 
Yeah. Zen four is the uh, this, the highest score. Zen so for my part, I uh, will explain about the method selection for our uh, product. So the first one, uh, there is a uh, seven parts on our product, which is the first one is blade. For the blade, we are taking and uh, we are using the stainless steel, which is why because uh, stainless steel have a low cost and but have a high tensile strength. And the second one is for auto. Auto we use uh, copper because, uh, as you know, copper is a good electrical conductivity. And for casing and cover, we are choosing polycarbonate because the uh, polycarbonate they it has a toughness and rigid as high impact strength and lightweight and for indicator and switch we use phenolic because uh, phenolic is easy to be mold and it is strong and cheap and lastly is uh, for the battery we use a uh, lithium iron because uh, it has a high power density and have a low rate of its self discharge that's all thank you so let's move on to usability testing here our goal that is test the usability functionality and customer response to product design here we got 12 participants that include butcher household age between 20 to 40 40 years old sorry 40 years old so the feedback we got from participant that we improved and river design the position of switch and indicator and also the product color has been changed thank you and then lastly after selecting the materials and so on we will develop a CAD model a 3d CAD model by using a self console works and also after conducting the usability test, we have applied all of the upgrades and the improvements that we get from the usability testing and then we revise a design, a new design and then as you can see right now, this is the final uh, design that we have created by using the SOLIDWORKS model. For the conclusion, uh, what can I conclude here is the product design has been finalized after going through some method, which is survey, house of quality, morphological chart, field chart generated by CAD software and solid work, and usability testing. Uh, the parameter of the design concept also has been defined and revised, and uh, after the improvement of the design and the upgrade of some safety features. Uh, uh, the important things here, we finally know how to design and plan the uh, product. So after uh, learning the, this subject, we have uh, learned a lot of things. My, th my team and I have learned a lot of things. For example, like uh, designing a product from sketch from zero, which is from a simple idea to an actual design with its uh, process, parameters and so on. So we can conclude that this study has really helped us a lot. So that's it from our team. Thank you.